Is it okay? Rotates, yeah, this way. Yeah, that's better. Uh -huh. Well, this has been a very attractive project, although initially we were a little bit skeptical about bringing electrical engineers interested in robotics and signal processing, all of that, to the farm. No, more? More. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ultimate goal is to have drones being equipped with multi-spectral or hyperspectral cameras to fly over a crop and can indicate not only the presence but the development of the disease before you are able to see it visually. And the farmers, the ultimate users, will, will get a map indicating where the spots of potential compromise will be in the crop. From there, there will be a list of actionable items that are recommended based on guidelines so that they can take action before the disease starts spreading and contaminating not only their crops but neighboring crops out of the state. This may be caused by insects. Some insects will have some characteristic patterns and then if you are at close distance you should be able to determine or see the insects actually in the plants. In that way we should be able to contain the disease, prevent the spread of the disease and increase yield and fruit production and the health of the, of the crops. The idea is that the students are provided with a hands-on experience. They see how the team project works and there have been some that show leadership traits. The stuff from the classroom, when you bring it to the real world, I mean, it's completely different. And there are many soft skills that have to be developed and that will let them to mature uh, in a more professional manner. I come from Thailand, so I think that um, the plant is very special for our economy and I think this area is going to be helpful when I graduate and go back to my country. I think it's involved in the real life that we can see the benefit or the advantages of this area. If we can develop it and find the correlation between the deceit of the plant, um, it's real helpful just not only farmer, yeah, it's really to useful everybody. Yeah. to everybody. Thai student is minority in the electrical engineering, but when I do this project, I learn how to do teamwork skill, like I, I learn how to communication and know many different friends in different countries, mm -hmm. like Chinese, Korean, American. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I really love like uh, image processing. And this is, like Professor said, this is a, a hands-on project and you can basically learn a lot. In, in the class, teacher, professor always tell you what you need to do, what you need to look for. But for the project, I think it's real. This is basically a multidisciplinary project. We are involving the Department of Agriculture and Engineering from Ohio State University. And Dr. Fulton is one of our advisors in the project. Uh, the Plant Pathology Department with Dr. Sally Miller supporting us in scouting and spotting and diagnosing when the diseases, the different diseases may be appearing. And also the Department of Extension. Professor Jim Jasinski is leading has been a tremendous driver of this project in setting up all this and supporting us. Uh, and of course the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Professor Lisa Fiorentini and myself are being heavily involved in bringing this uh, initiative forward. Yeah.